Okay, what we're looking at today is a Hewlett Packard 5383 520 megahertz frequency counter. This counter is uh, in great shape now. Looks almost new. I've gone to a lot of work to get it that way, but but the results are, are worth it, and uh, I think you're going to love it. Love it. I think uh, anybody that looks at this is going to sort of lust for it. I did. Um, the cabinet had been uh, badly scratched. It was an olive drab. It's a sage green now, and uh, it's a new coat of paint on it. Did a pretty good job. No visible drips. Looks like I said brand new. Okay. And the faceplate. I've removed the uh, snakeskin covering that was on it, and uh, and a lot of the yellowing. And as you can see, we have a nice bright new face. Uh, new looking anyway. And then I, I think next is the uh, performance of the rig. It's really excellent. Um, right now I'm feeding in a uh, 525 megahertz signal because that's the rated, uh, actually 520 is the rated maximum of this unit. I'm running 525 and we're we're getting four place accuracy plus or minus a digit which is uh, which is basically the accuracy of my uh, my Farnell. Farnell is putting out 525 and has four decimal place accuracy. So as you can see, we've nailed it. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, and take her down. Let's take her down to uh, let's go on even steps. I'm going to make this. All right, there should be 500. Takes a moment for the generator to lock in on the frequency, but you'll see it when it does. I'd say we're there. So we're 500 megahertz uh, to four decimal places, plus or minus a digit. Perfect. And that would be in an agreement with the dial. So, we're going to go ahead and dial her down. We're going to go to 400. All right. Give it a moment. And I think we're there. We've locked in. 400. Let's go to 300. Okay. 200. One hundred. This far now is good to down, down to ten megahertz, and then we're going to switch to a PTS generator. All right, there's a hundred. All right, so let's. Uh, Go 90. All right, we've locked in on 90. 80.
We're there. All right. 70. Okay, 60. Got it. 50. Forty. All right, there's 10 megahertz. This generator is quite a bit quicker than the others. There's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine hundred. We're going to switch to the one second interval now. That'll give us a little bit more resolution. Okay. So that's nine hundred point nine megahertz, eight hundred kilohertz, seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred. 300, 200, now at 100 we're pushing the limits, I don't know if this will do it, we'll try it, ah, we got 100, okay, but that's the limit of the PTS, so now we switch to a standard uh, generator, um, this is not going to be frequency synthesized, but, uh, but it'll give us uh, very good readings right on down to uh, hertz or so, and we'll see that we get response here. So give me a moment. We'll switch to that. Okay, we are uh, oh, running approximately 100,000 hertz. And we're going to take her down. Let's go down... Um, this should be 10,000, thereabouts. Right now, by the way, we're working off of this uh, interstate, uh, oh, it's a, a linear log uh, sweep generator, but produces uh, waves from oh, roughly uh, 0.01 hertz up to uh, about 20 million hertz. And uh, right now we're we're producing uh, about 10,000. So we're going to go down to a, th let's see, this will be a thousand. And then we'll go down to a hundred. And then we'll hit roughly 10. And then what we're going to do is go to a 10 second interval. So we get a little more resolution, but it takes longer. And then 
we're going to take her down by moving the dial. We'll go down a few hertz at a time. Okay, let's take her down to um, roughly five on the dial. It takes 10 seconds for the reading to catch up, so we may wind up waiting as much as 20 seconds. Okay, we're at 5.1. And then we'll take her down to a hertz. See what we get. There we are. Where right it hurts. I don't think we're going to get anything lower than that, but uh, we've just successfully went from 525 megahertz down to one hertz and read it. So by golly, uh, that was off of our interstate generator from uh, oh uh, 100,000 hertz down. We were on the PTS synthesizer uh, from 100,000 hertz up to, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 megahertz. And then we were on the Farnell from 10 up to 520. So those two are synthesizers. They nail it right on. The interstate is a more standard uh, oscillator type. <coughs> so uh, this thing is dead on. Uh, from the synthesizers, we are getting uh, good readings down to a hertz. I can't make sh you know I can't make the statement that it's dead on on the low frequencies, but I'm sure it is. The only reason I can't make the statement is I don't have uh, anything that produces something dead on like that. Um, do have one other option. We'll give it a go. Hang on a moment. Okay, what we've done now is we've brought this. Um, Oh, BP Magnetics Pyramid Generator in, and uh, it's for calibration of oscilloscopes, and it has frequencies that it generates uh, square waves with, and this one is um, uh, producing 20 hertz signals, and as you can see, we are getting 20 hertz plus or minus a count, but 20 right now, dead on the dial. So we're reading accurately down to 20 hertz anyway. Let's take a step up here. And this would be 50. This would be 100. This would be 200. This would be 500. thousand so we're back up to a thousand here and we're dead on so we're dead accurate right down to the 20 Hertz mark anyway and I've proven that so I also will provide with the unit an excellent manual and a set of general purpose leads and uh, in this manual uh, we have it's a Operation and service manual gives you general guidelines for the operation of the equipment. Uh, gives you uh, explanations how to take it apart and how to calibrate it. Gives you circuit information and so on. So, an excellent service manual will come with it. Brand new set of leads and what it essentially works like and looks like a brand new 500 megahertz HP 5383. Good luck. Bye.